Hello children, welcome back to your science class once again. So do you remember the chapter name which we were doing? Yes, the second chapter of your science book is the human body and we were doing that chapter. Today we will read about breathing. So what's breathing? Breathing is a cyclic process by which oxygen enters the lungs and carbon dioxide exits the lungs. The process of taking in this oxygen and giving out the carbon dioxide is called breathing. When we take in the oxygen, it is called inhalation. And when we give out the carbon dioxide, it is called exhalation. The complete process of breathing I will explain you here in a short form. Look here. The first thing is what we do? We breathe in air rich in oxygen through our nose. The air then passes through the windpipe to reach our lungs. Then there when the air reaches in the lungs what happens there? The oxygen which we take in that oxygen is absorbed by the blood. And where does this absorption occur? In the lungs. Then from the lungs, the carbon dioxide is released. Then what happens? The lungs transfer the carbon dioxide rich air back to the windpipe. And then from the windpipe, the air reaches the nose and we breathe it out. That is called exhalation. And after that, again the same process. We breathe in air rich in oxygen through our nose and then the whole cycle goes on and on and on. This is the process of inhalation and exhalation which we call as breathing. Now look into these two pictures children. What you can see here, two human figures are there. One figure is showing inhalation and the other figure is showing exhalation. Means breathing in and breathing out process is being shown through these two figures. What happens? Let me tell you one more thing. Here four things you can see. First is nasal cavity. Second is windpipe. Third is lung and the fourth one is diaphragm. So diaphragm, what is diaphragm? Do you know? Let me explain. As you people are in class 3 now, so don't, you don't have to understand much. Just it's a one liner. Keep in mind that diaphragm is present below the lungs. It is a thin layer of muscle which is present just below the lungs and in, it helps in the respiratory system. Okay, so here getting back to these two pictures, what we can see here, when we inhale, what happens? The diaphragm contracts. Contracts means squeezes, moves downwards and becomes flat and intercostal muscles relax and push the ribcage outwards. Means, if simply I will explain then what happens when we inhale. Inhale means when we breathe in. Then our diaphragm contracts and our chest and ribcage push outwards. This creates space in the lungs and air is rushed into the lungs and during exhalation the diaphragm relaxes and reduces the space and the air is expelled from the lungs means given out from the lungs. The number of breaths we take each minute is called the breathing rate. What it is called? Breathing rate. You know children, breathing exercises 
help us to improve the functioning of the lungs increase the amount of oxygen we take in so we should regularly do breathing exercises which will help us to breathe properly one of the most common breathing exercises is deep breathing you know how you should do deep breathing the steps i'll mention you just note it down step by step number 1 is sit comfortably on a mat number 2 slowly take a deep breath in and let your belly expand and lungs fill with air completely next breathe out allowing the lungs to contract and the belly to go in completely repeat the process a few times this is a very good breathing exercise which helps you to breathe properly and helps your lungs function properly we need fresh air to breathe in but these days breathing in fresh air is really becoming very difficult and you know why because of air pollution what is air pollution the addition of pollutants like smoke dust and gases in the air leads to air pollution air pollution causes breathing problems in humans and animals it may also cause serious diseases like asthma asthma is what you know asthma is problem in breathing air pollution also results in increase in the temperature of the atmosphere leading to changes in the weather or climatic conditions means because of air pollution temperature of the atmosphere increases means we feel much hot and the timings of the rainfall etc keeps on changing because of air pollution the major causes of air pollution are smoke from vehicles burning of forests materials at construction site smoke from factories and burning of garbage so here we come to an end of this chapter children study well stay home stay safe thank you